Welcome to this week's Fix the Photo. Uh, in this episode, we're going to look at some of the entries from our members to the weekly challenge on pets and pot plants, would you believe? And I'm going to make some adjustments to three of the photos from the entries in uh, on that particular weekly challenge. Right, let's take a look at those. So we have one entry from Paul Handley, which I'm going to do a bit of work on. Uh, one from Nicola Barker, which I'm not going to do any work on, but I'm going to show you something interesting. And then one from John Thompson. Let's start with Nicola Barker's image. Let me just bring that up a little bit larger for you. Now, um, it's quite a nice, fun, interesting uh, portrait of a cat nice shallow depth of field but actually for me it's just back to front uh, i know it wasn't shot back to front this is how the photographer took the shot but visually it's not allowing us to enter the image um, the light is on the right hand side the, the the face of the cat the the lighting is on on the right side of the face of the cat the space is on the right hand side i want to come into the image more from the left uh, and then see the illuminated face on the left hand side of the cat I'm going to make a very simple edit, transform, flip horizontal. And now we come in from the left. We lead into the picture from the left. We're faced with the uh, left side of the face being illuminated. Let's compare. That's what it was. And I'm much happier with it that way round. OK, now close that one down. Let's move on to the next shot by John Thompson. Um, so a great action shot of what looks like a, a greyhound or some sort of fast dog um, belting across the sand or turning sharply on the sand. Um, looks really interesting, but overall it's just low in contrast. So I just want to up the contrast. I'm going to get an adjustment layer. I'm going to pull the contrast up on the highlight end. I'm going to pull the shadows in a tiny bit may pull in a little bit on the mid-tones, may pull in there a little bit, just trying to add that little bit of bite to the dog. Then I'm going to invert everything here, and then I'm going to get, uh, sorry, the invert everything on the layer mask there, then I'm going to get a soft white brush at about 50% this time, and I'm going to shimmy in that contrast gradually building it up more on the dog. So obviously there is some out there on the sand as well, but just building it up more on the dog. Now, if I flick that on and off, we've gone from that to that, and it ends up with a lower contrast vignette around, but that slightly higher contrast punch in on the interior of the shot. Now, further to that, we could uh, duplicate the layer and then I can go in and, uh, unfortunately, I don't have the raw file here. But if I go in and I just apply an unsharp mask at, uh, what are we going to need on this one? I just apply an unsharp mask at 50% and half a pixel because I've only got a low res JPEG here. Now that's applied it to the entire image but I don't want it applied to the entire image. I want it applied only uh, to the dog area, the same as the curves mask. So I make another layer mask, and then I just drag that layer mask on top of that layer. And now, if we zoom in and we take a look, we'll see that the sharpening is only occurring on that central area. It's not occurring out on the outer area of the sand. And this is where it's useful, where you can use the same layer mask from another layer. You know you want to work it on the same area. So just steal that layer mask and throw it on top of the other one. To do that on a Mac, you just click on the layer mask, hold down the Alt key and drag the layer mask onto the other layer and then it will ask you um, whether you want to replace that layer mask and you just say yes. So flick that on and off. That's what we started with. That's what we've got now on that particular shot by John Thompson. 
And finally, let's take a look at this shot by Paul Handley. Again, it's a similar thing. I've only got a low res JPEG here, but it's a similar thing, just contrast issues again. So I'm just going to take the contrast right up on this shot, pull that white end in uh, considerably. I'm going to invert. Um, well, actually, no, I don't need to invert the layer mask this time. What I'm going to do this time is go with black paint paint away the areas that I don't want to go up in contrast, but I want 100% opacity on that brush. Get those areas down. We don't want that big white stripe there. And then if I look at the cat, um, I'll drop the opacity down to 50%. I don't want quite that blip on the back of the ear. Little bit strong on the chest there. Little bit strong on the lips of the cat now, which were actually fine before. We were just trying to improve contrast around on the top parts of the cat and elsewhere. So again, just using your contrast adjustment and layer mask, and we've made a quick uh, extra punch and detail to that cat. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Fix the Photo. If you'd like to enter our weekly challenges or our critique shows or our members' brief challenges, head over to carltaylereducation.com. Thanks for watching.